Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It's Debbie from Nature's Caress. Today I'm going to take you along with me while I make my Castile goat's milk soap. Um, I've been making this for about a year. I used to just make goat's milk with different oils in it, but now I'm doing it just with 100% olive oil. I find it really, really creamy, lovely on your skin. Um, and it cures quickly because I've actually done a, a water discount in this. I'll post the recipe down below so you'll see. Um, I make it in individual moulds because it does set up fairly quickly. Um, it's just easy. You don't have to worry about when you're going to cut it. But you can make it in a loaf mould and I have. But you just have to be aware that you may need to cut the soap probably within six to eight hours because um, it does cure quickly. Today I'm going to make it in Love Spell Fragrance Oil with just a pink colouring. Um, really, really simple. Um, so please come along with me and I'll explain as I go. Okay, let's get cracking. Um, I just need to mention that you need to be really careful when you're making soap. Um, you need to make sure you wear gloves, you need to wear eye protection um, and just make sure you keep safe because the sodium hydroxide or lye is really dangerous, especially if you do get it in your eye. Um, me being a retired nurse, I've seen lots of problems. Um, if you damage your cornea, um, lots can go wrong. So really be careful when you're handling the lye. Now the goat's milk I have frozen. This is the best method because it will not burn if you have frozen goat's milk. So all I do is I get my goat's milk however you want it, fresh. Um, I buy the um, one at Woolies, the UHT one I think it's called. Um, and I just put them in here. Um, you can use any silicon type of ice block holder as long as it's silicon because the other ones are plastic hard that won't come out. So just fill them into these, freeze them, and then just I'll, I'll just put them in a freezer bag and just keep them for when I need it. Okay, I've got my goat's milk frozen here, so now I'm just going to add my lye to it slowly. So here's my lye just in here. As I say, this is only a small batch. That's all I make at one time. So put a bit of lye in there. I use about half. Just mix it up slowly and the heat from the lye um, well the actual chemical reaction from the lye will cause um, cause the goat's milk to dissolve and that's what we want it to do without burning so it's really important that you just do it slowly just put half the amount in or quarter it to start with um, otherwise it will burn and you can't use it once it's burnt so that's why it has to be frozen um, so I'll just keep doing that slowly and I'll bring you back shortly. Okay I've mixed up um, my lye with my frozen goat's milk um, and I've just checked the temperature it's pretty good um, it's about 32 degrees Celsius so that's that's about what will the, what it will be but because the um, the actual um, olive oil is just at room temperature anyway it's 24 degrees that'll be fine to mix together now because um, there is such a, um, a water discount in the soap um, when I mix the lye and the goat's milk together I just give it a quick stick blend as well just to make sure that it's all mixed in really well so I'll just get along and do that and that's all you have to do just enough to make sure that it is completely dissolved in the goat's milk. So now all we have to do is add the olive oil. Simple, I'll go and get that. <clears throat> now this is a thousand grams of olive oil, so I'll pop that in here. Now because I know that my fragrance oil doesn't accelerate or cause any problems, it's um, I'm just going to add my actual fragrance oil in now and the colour and just mix it all up together, make it really simple. So I've got my colour here, I'm just using a pink today, it's a pink mica um, and it's a neon. So I'm just going to add that in there and I'll see what it turns out like because it might be, I don't want it too bright. And I've got my Love Spell Fragrance Oil, so I'll put that in as well. Get every little bit out, and I'll give that a stick blend, and we'll be ready to pour. As I say, very simple soap. Okay, 
that should do it. It's just a little bit thicker, but not too thick that you can't just put it in your moulds easily because that's just a real pain when it gets too thick and you have to start um, manoeuvring it into the mould. So this is just perfect. Put that to one side, give it a stir, and here we're going to go pop them into here. And uh, pretty easy peasy, really. So while it's still really fluid like this, it's just so easy and it gives a lovely crispness to the mould when you, to the soap when you unmould it. If you have it really too thick, then you get air bubbles and it just looks awful. The soap's not good. It's okay if it's just for your own personal use, but as I say, I do sell my products. I've got an online store and I go to lots of markets in my local area. I live in Dawesville, which is a suburb near Mandra in Western Australia. I've been making soap for five years now, just over. Um, I really loved handmade soaps and while I was working I used to buy them for myself. Um, but yeah, when it was getting near retirement I thought, well, I want to do something in my spare time. And so that's why I took up soap making. Um, and then I've branched into all sorts of other things, bath bombs, lots of skin creams I make. I'll get that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, I just really love doing things like this. It gives me a lot of pleasure. Um, and the thing is, when you get a bit hooked, you can't stop, really. Which a lot of you out there would know if you make soap. So that's about it. I'm not going to play around with this any longer. Um, yeah, well that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Really easy to make and it's a really lovely creamy soap. You'll love it. Um, it's easy because it's just the one oil, the olive oil. So yeah, I hope you really, really enjoy it and do make it because it is so easy. Um, if you do like this video, please um, tick the like button and subscribe um, and the notification bell for further videos. I post a video at least once a week. Um, and if you've got any comments, please leave them for me. Um, if you'd like anything particular that um, I can share with you, I'm happy to do that. I make lots of different types of products. Um, I was thinking the next one I would do would be probably um, a sugar scrub um, with my foamy bath butter mixed together. That's really lovely. Um, bath bombs will be coming up also in the future. But please just leave me a comment if there's any particular type of soap or anything that any questions that you've got. Well, these are the finished product. As you can see, they set up really hard um, um, and they were set up, as I said before, in about 10 hours. So these will be able to use within four weeks because they're rock hard already. This is just the next day. Um, so, yeah, they're really nice to use and it's a really good mould if you're just starting out soap making. You don't have to invest in a soap cutter if you're happy to do that and you can do them with multiple colors if you want to you just need to do an in the pot swirl and you'll get a colored effect if you just don't want the plain um, color it's, um, the molds are really cheap to buy you can get them on ebay um, they don't cost much at all i don't think about seven dollars or something so yeah please give it a go um, leave me any comments at all or any questions i'm happy to answer them and please subscribe and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos See you in the next one. Bye.